Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you've been here, thank you for being here. So today is, well when you're watching this video, it'll be the new moon, new moon, full moon in Aries. This should be fun, right? <laughs> because Aries is about new beginnings, it's about new starts, it's about doing things in a new way, trailblazing, very fiery energy, a lot of passion and going after what it is that we want. So that means that there is an opposition here with the sun that's in Libra. So we are finding balance between basically what it is that we need to release when it comes to how we're showing up in, in partnerships, relationships, um, and kind of how we're giving ourselves away and what it is, or more so not being authentic, what it is that we need to do to show up in our authenticity. So I'm kind of excited for this because I'm an Aries, right? I have, this is going, this, the moon is going to be conjunct Chiron, which is going to be conjunct my sun, my Mercury, and my Venus in a square to my natal Chiron. So it's already been stuff coming up for me today. And I'm just like, oh, really? <laughs> well, let's get through this. So, but anywho, this, and this is not about me. This is for you guys, the collective. You all will be receiving, I just want to say this really quickly, you guys will be receiving a lot more videos from me here on my YouTube channel. I've been really trying to figure out what direction it is that I'm going to take um, with my videos, with recording, with um, offering this content and where it is that my heart is, my body, my feelings are really pulled and guided in in being present with this and doing this and this is a lot of that that uh this moon in aries energy right because this is um things really being fully illuminated of what we have been kind of alluding ourselves to of in a sense where it is that we have been showing up in falsities of what it how it is that i guess you could say want to be seen or projecting our energy outwardly because Aries is all about projection. It's about um, even the projections that we view of other people, which really is about us, right? Because when we, we can either see somebody as who it is they truly are, or we can project energy onto them of who it is that we may believe them to be or seeing them to be. Granted, they may be doing these things, yes, but for this to be something that we are witnessing something that is oh this is how they are it's more of okay well let's take a look at me and see how does this correlate to me what is this of me and how can i make this a little bit better so y'all see i got this sweatshirt on it's all of a sudden really fall here in houston we woke up this morning it was like 68 degrees in the house and i was like oh <laughs> it's not cold enough for the heater but um the ac can't be on either so i just put on a sweatshirt <laughs> so this full moon is tomorrow october 1st we are already or let me say today because you'll be watching this today um uh there will be timestamps. Uh, for because this is going to be a pick a card reading. Um, yes, yeah, so this is today, tomorrow, October 1st. This is the vibration of six. So we are moving into a place of a lot of harmony, a lot of balance, you know, and this is happening at 4 04 p.m. So this is a number of eight. We are closing all doors, seeing what new doors need to be open for ourselves, um, really ending old cycles or getting ready to end old cycles. Um, you know, and also really tapping into the abundance of ourself, to the abundance of our world, what's available to us and recognizing that Aries is, a, is fire. So it's spirit, it's active. So it's very connected to the divine, not that all of the signs aren't, but it's like an active expression of the divine. Um, 
in a sense that it moves, it does, it it's in the work to manifest, you know, it is the ideas, it's the spark, that inspiration. So this Aries full moon is very much of inviting us to be at peace with ourselves and who it is that we truly are, you know, in, in our heart, in our mind, and allowing these things to align. If you're a woman, aligning these things with our womb space, you know, aligning just simply with who we know ourselves to be and not who it is that other people are telling us that we should be, who we are, what we're doing wrong, what we're doing right, or anything like that. Just really allowing our intuition to be our guide to what it is that we want in our life, you know? And with all that may be transpiring in our lives, we've basically been in the space of doing the work we've had all this capricorn energy that has been in retrograde that's really been having us at this standstill at this pause that we've really needed to recognize where it is we've been slacking where we not been where have we been trying to take the easy route and not really committing not really focusing on the details that really support the foundation of things in our lives of ourselves you know and we're learning that great things rich things big things long lasting great things you know they the they take time they take commitment you know they um they require our presence and our attention and i'm just reading here some things that i wrote down so the focus focus there where these things are needed because that's the thing aries does it goes in with it's willing to go in with no plan it's willing to go in on a whim um and recognize that it's the possibility um, after putting in all this effort that they did something wrong. And most of the time when things go awry with Aries over something that they've been putting a lot of time into, they will just leave it. We will just leave it instead of going back to the drawing board, instead of recognizing what is there. And that's what this Capricorn energy has is really allowing us and giving us the space that we need in order to cultivate ourselves, you know, like that these things are so important because it's the details that allow us to either not or yes, um, make reality really what it is that we want, the effort it is that we place. Granted, sometimes things just happen for us, but that's because we are internally aligned. Right in the retrograde, it's about going within. So we're recognizing where it is that we have been off kilter to what it is and where it is that we're going. You know, so focus. So focusing there, um, so that the mind has no space to wander anywhere else unless it's necessary. Right, because something sometimes these things are necessary for us because there's something that we're not seeing for ourselves so it has to happen externally so that we can go through this experience in order to be able to learn what it is that we need to know in order to move forward you know in this really brings a clearing and moves and makes room for the soul to shine through my son is here of course he's in the wrong plane but he may come and y'all are going to hear him and it's fine because that's life so uh through Stella well, let me see yeah for our soul to shine so making sure that we are celebrating our achievements celebrating where we simply are you know that we are not we're no longer in the place that we once were you know because it's a possibility that those things were not working for us and that's how we ended up where we are so we were either experiencing things that didn't work for us and it got us in a place that we don't want to be or we in a really great space because we was like hey i gotta i gotta take care of this i'm gonna take care of this you know so what have you been doing have you been taking care of this have you been being present 
with yourself? Have you been focusing on you and what it is that you need to do in all areas of your life? Or have you been kind of playing this victim role? Capricorn doesn't do victims. Like, you got to take responsibility for yourself, for your life, for what is happening, what it is that, because it's about choice and what it is that you are choosing to do so that you can create what it is and build and, and, and find success and what it is that you want for yourself. You know, so um, allow yourself to really dive deep into your heart to recognize where you have been viewing yourself to not be capable of meeting your goals, meeting your destiny on the other side. You know, it's a really time to fully embody our values and really allow our creativity to be an expression of this, of what it is that we value. Where does our worth lie? Like we need to see this for ourselves. We can't, um, seek this through other people because then it is it's not that it's not good it's just not as potent when it stems from within it doesn't radiate the same it doesn't uh, a lot the same magnetism to ourselves like it's something that really um I know what I want to say, but I don't want to say it. It's, it's something different when you really fool with yourself than somebody else telling you who they see you to be. You know, it's, it's very important for you to believe this for you. So, now, also, this is about keeping up appearances can be exhausting. This is about that authenticity thing. Any places that you have been that you just don't want to be anymore, that you feel like you got to put on this front and can't really fully, that if you show up as yourself, you're not going to be fully received or anything like that, it's time to let that go because the full moon is about you're either harvesting or you're releasing or you may be doing both, you know, you may be releasing like, oh, okay, and once you release that, the harvest comes in. It really all depends again on where it is that you've been what you've been doing so today we are basically being gifted with the keys to harmony joy fulfillment and expansion so let us grow let us love let us feel good let us feel joy from within let us feel happiness from what it is that we the places that we place ourselves the, ple the people that we choose to have within our life, you know, it's really time to live a full life in the way that we desire, you know, be seen how we want to be seen, like truly want to be seen, which should be our authentic self, you know. So first, I'm going to pull some cards for the collective. Before that, I, had, I, I randomly chose a candle for us. Um, what came out was purple. Purple is a color of healing. It's a color of power. It's a color of royalty. It really represents the fixed signs like Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and who am I missing? Who am I missing? Taurus. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be um, holding space for us today, this purple candle. And also, let me adjust my camera a little bit. I was trying to have my whole head in the video, but I need it here so you guys can see the table as I shuffle and all of those great things. So we are going to have... I'm going to pull some cards for the collective. Let me just move back. I'm going to pull some cards for the collective and then I do a pile. And then I'm going to do four piles. So while you're getting this insight, kind of prepare yourself so that you can begin getting ready to choose what number it is that you're going to pick. So give me one second. I'm going to shuffle up these cards and we're going to get going. So. Also, one moment. 
Okay, so we have a little purple ally here, and we have some frequencies going to, you know, calling spirits, calling you guys, our ancestors, ancestors, as we move through this energy. Praise spirit, ancestors, thank you, God. Thank you for your continuous grace, your blessings that you offer us. Thank you for all the ways that you show us and correct us in moving forward on our paths. I ask that you be present with us today as we receive these messages, that they come through clear and concise for us. We value you. We thank you. We're in full gratitude of you forever holding us down through all the counts. Sure. Okay. So. Going from a couple of different days. This feels like it needs some music, but the way YouTube is set up, Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Like this video if it, if it serves you, if it resonates with you. Comment below. Share it if you feel someone can use this. And I hope to see you back here. All right. Okay. Okay, let's see what Spirit has for us in the collective. Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, Seven of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So it seems like that we are well on our way. You know, we have the three of wands here and what it is that we've been working on, what it is that we've been putting a lot of energy into that is very close to our heart, um, very in tune and aligned with who it is that we feel ourselves to be, that is manifesting for us, that is coming through for us through this full moon. If there have been any type of 
um, negative thoughts that you've been holding about yourself that is releasing it's you're basically moving on from that and kind of putting down this juggling act of perceptions um, this juggling act of being in two different like kind of juggling two different faces and seeing yourself all right as um, from this new space of being also just having a new mindset overall about what it is that you're choosing to do because you know it's basically time like it's time to let this go let let go of any type of energy that has been feeling deceptive or deceitful or that you can't trust or that you feel like you just can't really be yourself around um or that is kind of putting on a false face if especially if you're the one who has been putting on the false face that is definitely the only way uh, to move forward into this three of wands nine of cups energy here right because wishes are happening like it's time to stop eluding ourselves into being somewhere that we don't want to be you know and also putting down doing too much um at one time and, and kind of coming into the space of linear thought, linear way of going, things coming full circle for us. That way we can really move forward <clears throat> in where it is that we are headed. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. So um, then we got the share your voice card. So it's definitely time to step up and, and, and be seen and, and receive, you know, really come out, stop feeling this sense of being persecuted, you know, this seven of swords energy and also recognizing what it is because the mirror card came of what has triggered this this need for change really this need to lighten the load this need to not carry so much and put ourselves in a space of not feeling worthy and really get grounded into who it is that we are like we in reality we are all very sensitive beings but those who are watching this more so than anybody else i think this card talks about empaths and uh, this whole new age, new age has been around for almost a century, if not longer. All right. So probably forever. Um, the whole emp empathic idea comes from this uh, projecting of how it is that you believe somebody else feels. When in reality, what it, being empathic is, is just really being able just walking into a room and feeling that energy you know it's also walking into a room and being able to shift the whole room right so it's time for us to really connect with nature to get grounded with who what it is that we're going to do like a, it's fine to do multiple things but it needs to come from a grounded space that's tapping into that capricorn energy that needs to happen so we have the luminous warrior this is standing up and in, in being who you are knowing that spirit has your back that he has the full moon behind him it's time to embrace and accept shift into this move into this your wings are Spurling. They are coming out. Be confident in what it is that you're doing. Be in your knowing. Connect with your crown chakra. Accept who it is that you are. Thunder. You are we. You are a force. All right, a force to be reckoned with. Let let the rumble shift you. You know, so that you can walk through the doors of this new reality that is coming forth. Yeah. Yeah. You you've been doing the work, Saturn here, being very committed, being very into what it is that we've been doing. And it's time to bring it. It's time to let it come. It's time to embrace it. This is gonna be 
long lasting for some time, you know, like this is going to be something that we've been preparing for and wanting to experience for quite some time in meeting we just had to go through the motions of life you know nothing really happens without us really accepting that and we're moving into this through the north node north node right now is in gemini right saturn just came out of retrograde these blessings are coming through jupiter just came out of retrograde whatever it is that has been being activated for us is it's, it's happening all right, it is happening and we're releasing um, everything, all this internal junction, juncture, junk <laughs> that is keeping us double minded outside of really, you know, being able to be who it is that we want to be um, and really connecting with people who relate to us. You know, this may be through a social media thing with the whole COVID situation still going on. Um, this, we may also be connecting with our family again as well, like and really feeling the love, really embracing them. Um, people from the past, you know, that might be coming back up it's this energy it's a very strong energy because the full moon is even here in thunder you can see these bison running you know allowing the the gentleness to pull you be brave and going and diving in head first believe in yourself you, we are shapeshifters, game changers, mountain movers, mountain climbers, like just wearing down anything pretty much in our way. So this meditation card. So the meditation to, to sit with says, do not say anything harsh. What have you said? What you have said will be said back to you. Anger talk is painful. Retaliation will get you will get you all right so to me this kind of speaks to this whole seven of swords energy it's like maybe you just need to first stop talking to yourself crazy then don't feel whatever it is that you need to leave behind it doesn't you don't have to show up in a space of hatred or hurt Things happen, you know, they happen for the reasons that they need to happen. It's like just bow out gracefully and accept the lesson that was there for you. Accept what it is that you would not have been able to see without this experience, you know, because it it served you. And now you can move forward in like this new sense of inspiration when it comes to your mindset, your mind state, because perspective is everything. It, it, the mind has everything to do with the law of attraction. The mind has everything to do with receptivity, how it is, right? Because our, it is our feelings that we attach to that create mental patterns, that project frequencies, that draw in experiences that either serve us because we're thinking and feeling the right way or still serve us and provide us with these lessons that we need to experience in order for us to heal, in order for us to see our wounds, in order for us to see our shadows, in order for us to recognize what it is that needs to be integrated, which is usually what it is that we have learned, you know? So, um, yes, this has been the collective reading. I hope that was helpful. Now we're going to go on to the pick a card and I shall return soon. Hey you guys, okay, I'm back. We have a four piles here, pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four. So take a moment, take a couple of deep breaths. 
and ground yourself in. See which power it is that resonates with you, what is most calling to you, and we're going to go ahead and get started with power one. So, okay, power one, here we go. <laughs> so let us see. Power one. Oh. Okay, so. Okay, power one. So, power one, we have the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the High Priestess. So, I'm gathering that you are. A cycle is ending for you. You are no longer um, harboring yourself with the thoughts of not being able to get anything done, not being able to make it happen, not being able to just be really, you know, walking away from it, it, you're walking away from this emotional pattern that has been creating that type of ten of swords energy, feeling like you are going to be stabbed in the back or have been stabbed in the back. And this is really changing your perception. This page of swords here, your perception has changed. It, it, it whatever was is no longer. <laughs> so you are really looking at things with fresh eyes, you know, just having a new perception with yourself, with life, um, possibly in this space of really wanting to learn something new, new, new ways of perceiving things that can um, open you up to really call in that change of emotion that needs to happen for you, like really allow you to embrace and really be able to celebrate your life and what it is that you desire, you know, really and really going within and, and clarifying with yourself, getting aligned with things that make more sense for you. Really tapping into your intuition and moving beyond any type of illusions that you've kind of been creating for yourself through these mental patterns that have kind of been stifling you, that have been blocking you from really being able to see the truth, you know, and really just ending old cycles, change is happening, big change is happening, and you are really coming into the space of following your intuition, knowing what it is that you want and how you're going to get there. What it and what it is that's going to take in learning these things, which and whatever it is that you're the, like the knowledge or the information it is that you're going to come into is going to kind of confirm everything that you've already been feeling within about yourself, about what you've been about your relation to others and how you've thought about them, or it's going to allow you to reframe the perspective it is that you have been holding. Um, within about whatever it is that it has been, you know, it the load is getting lighter, the weight is lifting. Okay, let's see what else. Yeah, so you are unbounding, coming out of these really tight um, bounds of not seeing things clearly or just really needing to the root work is supporting you right because you got boundaries here so perhaps you need to unbound yourself you are unbounding yourself from this prison here of the ten of swords and it's time for you to put up proper boundaries that support where it is that you are going and know that you are already doing it don't think so don't don't think so hard about it it's fine like um, everything you need will come to you along the way. This this old energy, it is in the process of crumbling. It just takes time and you have to be patient. You just need to keep facing forward and going forward. Don't look back because there is nothing there for you except 
what it is that you do not want except the misery it is that you've been experiencing or victimhood you've been experiencing whatever it is that has been weighing you down it's it, we, you no longer need to look over your shoulder you don't no longer need to move forward in a place of not being able to trust others because you trust yourself right and that's really how you get into that space of not of feeling safe in a sense of connecting with people right because this is this is this has a lot to do with relationships and it has a lot to do with how you perceive yourself within these relationships and the people that you perceive in these relationships <clears throat> wow so you got the high priestess and the moon so the moon is basically saying that something new is coming this is a full moon these cycles these old cycles are done you're done with these things you're coming into this new space and you got the hummingbird so it's time to take flight it's time to do not wait don't procrastinate don't feel don't get out your head stop thinking about it just go just do it just trust that just trust that where you're headed what you're doing where you're going it's it's all right you know <laughs> Uh, embrace the nectar you know drink from it another full moon here a shark came out the room y'all so y'all might hear a little bit of background noise so um let's see you got the sixth house and the Taurus card so your health may be um so walking away from these things, you know, is really going to help you. It, your health is about to begin improving. You know, you're going to be able to be more into the habits it is that is going to serve you in going forward and really manifesting and accomplishing. This is also allowing you to tap more into your receptivity, really get into that space of magnetism. It is that you need to really support you of wherever it is that you're headed. You're really going to be more tapped into your intuition and it's gonna eat that even so is gonna support you in your habits you know maybe you need to set up some need to start honoring the moon phases and doing some moon rituals um perhaps maybe getting a new pet this hummingbird the sixth house this tourist card maybe a dog I don't know, maybe been thinking about it or something with your pets. Um, perhaps you need to, so I was saying maybe you need to begin some moon rituals. Uh, talked about that, the pets. Uh, and this is also with this six house coming out of this 10 of swords, you're coming out of this space of this self criticism and also criticizing others. Um, and you are stepping away from some type of enemy line as well and coming more into a space of being able to have the things it is that you truly want for yourself and for your life. So the quote here that you got to meditate on is, it is easy to see fault of others, hard to see one's own. One sifts the faults of others like chaff, but covers up one's own as a crafty cheater covers up a losing throw. So that fits a lot into this Ten of Swords energy, this Eight of Cups, right? So this is another, it aligns a lot with the collective reading, like don't feel that you need to criticize others. People... People have whatever, people do what they do because of whatever reason, we may never know. And sometimes it's not for us to know. It's important that we can really give people the space to be who it is that they are because just as much as we deserve that freedom, they, they do too. Just walk away and let things be, you know, focus on what it is that needs to go down in your life every day. Focus on the details of your life. Get organized with what it is that you need to do in order to accomplish in this space here and achieve what it is that you want to achieve so you can 
bring in the finances that you want so you can get that house you want so that you can build that family you want so that you can build that relationship that you want and you know have whatever it is that you want to have so you can feel good about your life and enjoy it and be fulfilled and not have to worry about whatever somebody else is thinking about you and also not thinking anything negatively toward yourself so how one that is your reading i hope that that was helpful if so let me know how in the comments and we're off to pile number two okay pile number two let's see what you have going on for this aries full moon goodness y'all This Libra energy is really revealing all of the, the mental chaos that we have going on. Hmm. So you've been dealing with a lot of things that have is the perception, our perception has been very um, self-sabotaging. It's like you have the ability to, but are have been in this space, nine of swords, of kind of talking yourself out of it, seeing, seeing the worst before the best can even happen but you have this right you it already lives within you you have the the bravado you have the abundance you have the know-how the ability to you know and just having needed to really recognize that but you're really seeing this in yourself you're coming into this new space of self-awareness, really tapping into your intuition and really tapping into your intuition and allowing that to support you in moving forward. But this first did not come without seeing yourself, you know, and this is you're moving forward into gathering and gaining all of what it is that you want to have and building that really being in your authority of this physical realm and manifesting that right and moving forward you are allowing instead of allowing these negative thoughts to dictate you you are now coming into this place of choosing to motivate yourself to recognize that you, your ability to manifest releasing any illusions that have kind of been clouding your judgment activating your will and really letting that be the moving force, the guiding force that, that, that you're letting your desires drive you and recognizing yourself, what it is that you're capable of. I mean, you got the empress here and the king of pentacles. We have the empress here at the back of this page of cups and it's like so that has been sitting in your subconscious mind but it's kind of been um you know you've been so busy caught up in what could go wrong that you haven't been seeing it but the page of cups is like no like see you see yourself see who you are you know um there may even be someone a Earth sign towards Capricorn, Virgo. You may be an Earth sign. There's a lot of Earth sign energy here. Also, a lot of Venus and Moon feminine energy here. Um, so maybe you have been working on tapping more into your feminine energy. If you are a feminine, feminine body person, um, this could be a relationship as well that has been that is basically transforming in a sense by you recognizing how it is that you've been going about sabotaging this, 
through your mental state, through your mind, through whatever emotions it is that you've been kind of carrying and holding on to that have not, that have been deterring you away from your will. So we have, right, the protection card, which fits well with this nine of swords. Like you need to call back your power, release those old thoughts. Like if they've been built up off of something or someone or some event, it's time to let that go. Let them go if you need to. Or maybe you need to change your perspective or recognize how it is that yourself, let your self-awareness show you how perhaps you have just been perceiving things wrong in the first place right and putting you in a space space of fear go within practice devotion get a spiritual practice going you know if you have not been already in this protection card is the solar eclipse here at the top so this is an external change happening it had to happen within first of course but with this king of pentacles and chariot that's external energy it's like you, you're going from this chaotic internal world to seeing yourself to like, oh, I can do this. Yes, you can. You can do this. You have, you have the ability. You have the drive. Motivate yourself. You know. Believe and, and, and have faith in yourself. Know that everything is possible. So you have the blade. The blade ask you to use it wisely either cut cords where you need to cut them which is probably with yourself or with whatever experiences has created this nine of swords energy um or this could mean that you need to wield it in a way that helps you cut to the truth of things but beware of utilizing this energy in a way that is either deceitful or from a place of anger because that can come back to bite you and then you have the upper world so yes the rituals the the connection the spirit getting up praying in the morning you know um doing meditation really connecting with your inner self so that you can connect to your god the God in you, you know, connect with your ancestors, your guides, your angels, God, spirit, however you see it, connect with that. It's time because that is what is going to lead you forward. It's going to bring this harmony in your life. Even this blade have these moons here, these cycles, they're ending. It's time to, time to cut these cycles away. So... Yeah, so it is the, the connecting to this upper world energy that is going to support you in the changes it is that is happening, the changes it is that needs to be made in order for you to connect to that. Okay, so let's choose. What is this? This is a fall card. This is Libra energy fall reconcile so bring back those parts of yourself that you have let go of you know really allow these things to pass let it die clear the brush um allow it to move beyond what it has been after all this time because it's no longer useful and also make peace with what has been so that you can have the space to reconcile these old, these ways that you have given so many parts of yourself away. And you got the waxing crescent moon. So this is about taking action. First, making a plan, right? And then connecting to your guides, making this plan. Making this plan and then taking action on it so that you can start moving forward in the direction it is that you're desiring to go you are really supported with all of this um, as far as spirit goes, right? Because this upper world is like, hey, we're here waiting for you. When are you going to tap in? But it's coming to that space. Either you have already gotten into that space or you're, this full moon is going to illuminate where it is this self-sabotage has been created. So... The meditation. Oh, you got two. So it says one who controls occurring anger as one who 
as one would a chariot gone off a, off the track. The one I call a charioter, other people just hold reins. So let me read that again. One who controls occurring anger as one would a chariot gone off track. Off the track. That one I call a charioter. Other people just hold the reins. So this is basically saying being in control. You got the chariot and this card is talking about a charioter, right? So this is about being in control of what it is that you are allowing to move through your mind. Do not allow your mind to rule you. You are the ruler of it. Use it as a tool, all right? And then the next one says, I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. Carl Jung said that. The Buddha said this one. Who knows which Buddha that was? Because um, there have been many. But yes, get yourself together. Perhaps this nine of swords has just been you being angry, right? And you needing to learn to control that anger and really take time to go within and see yourself. You know, and no, not allowing yourself to see, see you as having become what it is that has happened to you. You make the choice. You, you are in control. You know, it is up to you, pal, too. So I hope that this has been helpful and we are off to pal three. And if so, let me know in the comments. Okay. Hey, pal three. So let's see what you guys have going on for this Aries full moon. Okay, pal three. You know, it's really time for you to find some balance in the way that you give your energy away and what it is that you're holding for yourself and how this is creating this kind of mental chaos for you. But also, it's time to let go of these people in your life that you cannot trust. <laughs> Whoever that is, you know, it's time to really get into alignment with your heart and your mind and really just move beyond those that don't align with that. You know, think better, see see the, the, the richness of who it is that you are. If, you know, you've been dealing with people who create this sense of insecurity with you, it's really time for you to see yourself and let that go. That balance is going to bring, like, it's like you kind of also need to take some time to yourself. It's time to kind of get away from giving so much of your energy away because that is what is going to bring the, 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 the harmony that you're looking for in the world recognize how it is what it is that you have been doing has been creating your reality because it's kind of got it, it has kind of built you into this tr untrustworthy space in a sense and kind of having you keeping your cards very very close which is not a bad thing but at the same time it can leave you feeling unsure of your own self, right? So you got this temperance card in the middle, you know, and this is about your journey. What What is true for you? What is the truth? You need to cultivate a little bit more faith that you can go forward and do what it is that you need to do for yourself and that some people just can't come along with that. Um, if you have been in the space of kind of having more fun than in, in celebrating. Celebrating is a great thing, but sometimes we can overdo it. If you've been having people in your life that create a lot of that are like gossipy in a sense, 
and create trauma for you in your life, um, it's time to kind of pull away from that and see yourself and who it is that you truly are, you know, because you you have it to the ability to manifest, to call in what you want in your life. It is a matter of you believing that and you not being afraid of the possibility of that, not being afraid of what it is that's going to have to be done in order to achieve that. You know, because it's like as soon as you do that, as soon as you step away from these people, as soon as you step away from these emotions of um, not having enough or spending on the wrong things, that is going to bring you into a space of seeing the truth, right? Because you got the Seven of Swords here in Justice. That's all about the truth, all about, all about the harmony within yourself you know because this energy this this energy here on the other side this three of cups this four of pentacles it really got you all caught up in your mind and it hasn't been serving you which is why you're kind of coming to this place of like oh okay i need to spend some time by myself i need to take a break because something right and whatever is not right is creating this kind of chaotic energy that has been going on. But you already have it. It's already, something's already there. Let me pull some other cards. Yeah, it's happening. You're already doing it. You're creating heaven on earth. So, you know, you're really finding it within you to be able to celebrate and be secure within yourself, you know, to really step away from any type of deceit, whether that is of the self or from other people and take better actions that create the, the reality that you wish to create. You know, it's already, it's already happening. So it's, it's almost like you already know what you need to do and ready to take the steps to do that. Yeah, you're releasing old soul contracts. So whatever, these, the, it's like you've been experiencing these karmic relationships, these karmic ties, these karmic experiences. And it's really time to come back to the forefront of who it is you are, you know, and because these people, they are... These, these emotions, these feelings, they, they are tied from past, the past. They don't exist in, in this present moment here and now. <clears throat> and by doing this, by taking these steps, by recognizing that you need to do something different, it is helping you get out of this space. It's full moon here again. You know, so and really allowing you to create what it is that you want. That is what's happening. If you're feeling any kind of fear about this change that is taking place in your life, know that it is for the better and it's going to bring you something you really never expected, like creating this type of utopia in your life and really showing up for yourself, showing out for showing up and showing out for yourself and those around you who are meant to go forward with you, right? Because you're moving into alignment with who it is that you truly are. You're aligning yourself, your actions, your thoughts, your feelings, your will with what it is that needs to happen. You're stepping into your journey. You're stepping into the truth of you, of who it is that you are, what it is that you want to be, where it is that you want to go, you know, all of those things with a clear and a sound mind, with a, with a sense of peace and stillness within your heart, you know? So let's see. Yeah, it's all about the journey. You got the temperance card and the journey card. So it's like, let go of what needs to be let go of. Take whatever it needs to come with you, but don't get caught up 
don't see this one experience as the journey because it is not. It's just something that's been present to catapult you further into the future, into where it is that you're going, right? You got the spiral, new skin. You're walking through a new door, a new person. It's time to let go of those old things. There, it, there are changes happening here for you that is going to support the continuance of life, the flow of life. You know, oh, it's, it's brand new. This is something that you've never experienced before. And you have to really trust and believe that the steps it is that need to be taken are going to be the right ones to get you to where you're going. You're kind of walking through this new door. These experiences have allowed you the wisdom, have given you the wisdom it is that you need. It's allow you to see yourself, allow you to see your shadows, allow you to see what it is that's kind of been holding you back all this time. You know, like it's no need to beat yourself up about it. It's just recognize like, oh shit, that didn't work. That was not working. That's why things have not been going correctly. Yeah, illusions. Neptune, you kind of been um it's almost like You've been wanting to believe that this is how it's supposed to be when in reality that hasn't been it. But you're coming out of this. You are breaking free of these illusions. Tap into the spirit realm. Connect <clears throat> with your guides, your ancestors, all of that good stuff. Pray, meditate, really find some stillness, create, connect with your higher self. Um, get out of so it can help you get out of this space of eluding yourself so it can continue to help you reveal what it is that you have not been able to see all this time and perhaps you also are just feeling that someone has not been who it is that they've been projecting themselves outwardly to be that's coming up as well and it's going to be the releasing and aligning with who it is and what it is that you need to be doing that's going to reveal that because it's like you know, you're going to all of a sudden see and you're going to shine. You're going to shine bright. You know, you're really going to be in who it is that you are going to be very connected to your personal self-expression and feeling a lot of joy, possibly um, being able to put more time into the children, put more time into love, into romance, um, into experiencing things that it is and having the experiences that you truly want, reconnecting to your innocence and not feeling like that you have to be something that you don't even really rock with in the first place. Okay. So to meditate on how wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were to live in equanimity, free of hatred and attachment. How wonderful it will be if all sentient beings and happiness in the causes of happiness had happiness in the causes of happiness. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were free of suffering in its causes. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were never separated from the happiness of higher rebirth and liberation. These are the four immeasurable thoughts. So you're basically realigning back to being in a space of connecting with people with the things that bring you happiness that resonate with the joy that you feel within that resonate with the joy that you desire to feel within you know so it, the same with one and two like just uh, let people go in peace, you know, and allow them to be let, so that you can be, be free of the things that hold you back, be free of the drama, be free of the, the deceit, be free of being attached to things going any one way, because on the journey, things change at a moment's notice. And you have to be open to the transformations it is that need to happen in order for that to go forth and, and move forth with you. 
So, okay, pile three. I hope that that was helpful. I hope that, that resonated for you. If so, please let me know in the comments. And if you would like to receive a personal reading, contact me in my website. The link is below. And now we are off to pile four. Okay, pile four. Okay, so let's get this thing going. Let me drink a little bit of this tea. Pile three. Pile three, you ready? All right, you are ready. <laughs> so we have here the five of swords, the ace of wands, the six of pentacles, the nine of cups, and the three of wands. So you are coming into this space of fulfillment and achievement in your life. Um, and really letting go of this kind of competitive space of being, especially in the mind. You have, you know, you've really been putting the work in of making the changes it is that need to have that needs to happen in order for you to receive the fulfillment it is that you're desiring. And through that, you're taking new action and connecting with people who are helping you, who you can also offer something to. And things are just really getting better. And they're just going to keep getting better. All right. You're going to keep getting better and better. You know, you're really doing something brand, brand new, whether that is just thinking differently, feeling differently. You know, because what it, and, and it's like you have the ace of wands here and then boom, the three of wands, like the planning, the it's like the action just immediately transformed your life because sometimes things are learned by the doing. Most of the time things change through the action and allow everything to come really full circle so that we can <clears throat> experience what it is that we desire in our lives and create what it is that we desire in our lives. And there are those people around you who want to help you get to wherever it is you're going, who are willing to help. Or maybe you have it to where you can lend a helping hand to others. And that is bringing you fulfillment and joy. And bringing in what it is that you want in your life. You holding the cards now. <laughs> You're not giving this away anymore to opinions of others. To negative thoughts about yourself. Or anything like that. You are no longer being succumbed to the chaos that within that doesn't bring you what it is that you want in your life, what it is that you desire in your life. It's like things literally have completely changed. You see, you see the future and you're moving into it. And it's headed to you. Yeah, so just, you know, nurture yourself. Love on yourself. Oh, okay, so maybe also your health is getting better here. Um, or maybe you, maybe um, you have been making some changes to your diet, to your way of living as well. Like really nurturing and loving on yourself. Or maybe you need to do this if you have not begun this already. Because that is what is going to bring you forward into what it is that you desire, what you want in your life. Like it's 
And like you need to take the attention away from everybody else. And this five of swords, this person, you know, he's walked away. He's won one, right? He won, but it was a struggle. The other people chose to just leave. But it first didn't come without a fight. And I feel like that these people walked away because a calling of a truce. You know, like, okay, I see this was my doing. I seen things wrong. My perspective was unclear. Let me let me love myself a little bit more so I can stop projecting on y'all. And then we can come back together and really be who it is that we can be for one another. Mm -hmm. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So what do you need to do? What do you want to do? Do that. Just go with it. Start it. Take whatever time it is that you need to heal, to love on yourself, to, you know, be one with yourself, to steal your heart, to steal your mind so that you can go forward in trust, in faith, and know that you will walk in here into this space up these stairs across this desert. <laughs> Right? Because it's bringing transformation. Things are changing. Like, the, things are not looking how they used to. And if they still do now, over this, this moon cycle, that is leaving. That is out the door, out the window. This full moon behind her. Right? She got this staff of truth in her hand. With this double helix next to her I'm like all right this is I'm, I'm i'm changing through truth i'm changing through through the light of that has been revealed to me of reality <clears throat> yeah so you got the child here so going back to the space of innocence a space that allows you to be very magnetic. You got the star mother and the child. So you really need to nurture yourself as you go through this process of change. Um, really love on yourself as you end these old cycles, as things really transform for you. Because it's the innocence that is going to offer you the, the protection that you need as things begin to look differently. Because it's going to offer you that trust because you know children they be trusting unless the parents told them not to you know and then the time master so basically you are control in control of your timing you create the timing of things so if you start now, then in a little bit, things will be different. If you've already started, then you are aligning to that timing. Whichever timing it is that is needed, you will be in alignment with. But it's going to take for you to be in alignment with faith, with trust, with knowing that as long as you move forward, things will manifest. They will happen. Time is... People always say how we don't have... Time is not on our side or there's... Time is running out. But that's not really the truth. Because time is infinite. Time is not even really real like that. <laughs> okay. It is to an extent, and that is about it. 57 is 12, 3, 10. Yeah, so this is bringing forth a new beginning. I need to read this book really quickly, see what else the child has to say. Something else is here. 
teaching you or release you from the habit of being yourself and going to a beginner's mind so that innocence, seeing things with fresh eyes, that's trust, you know, that you can go into this mystery of what life is about to become for you. You know, you can correct the, the, the child says you can correct the course without punishment, you know, so that that is a lot that lot that has a lot to do with timing as well perhaps you've been caught up worried about the time granted sometimes there are spaces where it's open for you to do something and you may miss it but in this situation in this circumstance that is it seems to not be the case Yeah, so release yourself from limited thinking, from that cause and effect thinking by moving beyond linear illusion and welcoming cyclical quality of time. And that's a lot about the moon. Like, you can really manifest anything by utilizing these cycles and working with the timing of things, the, 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 the timing that exists right here, right now. Like, what is it that you can do right now? Do that. Don't concern about actually getting to the other side because that's going to block you from being able to be here in the moment, to be present with what it is that actually needs to happen, that needs to be done. Sometimes it appears that you are running out of time. You worry you won't get what you need or want. Everything gets stuck like a log jam. This is only in your mind. Only in your mind. Perhaps you've been listening to people who've been telling you that... <laughs> You running out of time. You're not. Be fully engaged in the now. It's time to release the story of the past. Equally, it's time to release your need to know the details of the future. Right? All the treasure magically reveals itself when you remain relaxed and present to what it is that's directly in front of you and nothing else. Then you realize you have all the time in the world. You will never run out of it. You are the time master. Anything is possible. Take your power back. And let go of the past and choose to step into your life. Yeah, seventh house. Something to do with relationships that you've been experiencing, dealing with. This could even be the relationship you've been having with yourself. But it seems like this has to do with other people. Um, and just kind of, I don't want to say even listening to the wrong people. But you've been around people who you've been having to learn a lesson through. Right? And it's time to move on for that so that you can come to a more harmonious state within yourself this is the house of libra it's time for you to shine in that state of peace you're gonna have to be in yourself be calm in yourself trust the path so that you can actually transform so that you can see what actually needs to happen right now so you can do the work seven times is a workhouse um, it's also about fairness, right? It's also about being just. It's also about seeing the truth of what it is that's actually going on right here. And that is Five of Swords also is that like that Five of Swords energy. It brings the chaos because the truth is being missed. You need to see what it is that needs to be seen in order for you to move forward. Cancer, go within. This is the moon. The cancer is ruled by the moon. It's about your emotional state. How, what emotions have you been tied to that have been making you believe that <clears throat> that you can't do that? These cycles are ending. It's time to move on from that so that you can come into and allow into your space what it is that you desire. Tap into your intuition. Tap into your heart space. Connect with your family. Connect with people who feel like family. Build relationships with people who feel like family. Who are going to be honest with you. It's almost like, like letting your heart be your compass. Recognize what influence it is that you are bringing to others that have created whatever type of reality it is that has been created for you. 
is changing. This this is changing. Cancer sign kind of looks like the infinity sign, very similar to the to the time master. He has this infinity here up in his chest, you know. Looking at this crescent, this waning crescent moon, ready to release anything that has kind of created any sense of fear. Um, and perhaps there it has been some emotional immaturity. Maybe you've been in this space of kind of trying to manipulate things into a way that you believe they should go when in reality it's something totally different of where it is that you're going, right? Because it's time for you to trust your path. You can't um, manipulate reality into what you think should should work, should go, should happen. Only what is true will lead you to where it is that you're designed to go. So to meditate on, wisdom arises through effort. Wisdom disappears through lack of effort. Knowing this twofold path of growth and decline, one should arrange oneself such that wisdom increases. That is this. Tap in, listen to spirit, trust your path. That is the effort. Yes. It is the effort that is going to take you to where it is that you're going to go. And if you're going to gather the knowing, right? Because you, wisdom is something internal that is, is gained through experience. That's the only way you gain wisdom, right? So in the event you have been trying to manipulate time through not doing the work, that is what will keep you in this space of the Five of Swords. So it's time to let that go and focus on the efforts it is that have to be made. For sure, it's right here, y'all. Um, so that you can really have that knowing and you can really trust yourself in the direction it is and the space it is that you are headed to. So... Group four, power four. I hope that this has been helpful. Um, I hope that this resonated for you. If so, let me know. Let's talk about it. If you would like to get a personal reading, click on the link below and, and you can contact me um, through my email, which is posted as well. Follow me on Instagram. And yeah, I hope that you all have a wonderful full moon and that it reveals all the things you need to see to throw into the fire so that you can come out renewed and restored and rise up like the phoenix. So I love y'all. Thanks for being here. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.